Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jalen. Hello if you're new here. So today we're going to eat some Sonic, which I have not had since I was a sophomore in high school. And we're also going to be exposing a professional football player. So let me just make this less... I'm just trying to make it all cute, but it's really just getting in my way. So, I'm so excited. Oh, and forgot. We have these two. So we have mozzarella sticks, a pretzel, which I thought they came like several in there or I would have got more, so I'm sorry about that. Onion rings, a foot long hot dog with chili and cheese, and two milkshakes. One is strawberry. Mm. And this one's cheesecake. So good. Oh my freaking god. Amazing. I don't want to have them like in the way. I'm just going to stick these over here so they're not distracting. Let's get this open. The only thing I've ever ate from Sonic is their chili cheese tots. Um, I used to be chubby when I was younger, and I'd beg my mom to bring me this to school like for my lunchtime. And I worked at Subway when I was like 15, and I'd be like, please, please bring it to me, please, please. Can I not pick it up? Looks like you can't really pick it up too well. Just take it by this way. Mmm. Oh my god. Wow. That's so good. Wow. Mm -hmm. I know y'all probably hate when I do that, like lick my fingers, but we can't help it. Sure, anyway. mm -hmm. It's still crunchy, thank God. I just like the perfect amount of sweet. It's really good. Wow. I'm do that. Okay. So today. I don't know why I've never told this story. I honestly didn't forget about it, but I don't really think about my ex-boyfriends <laughs> ever unless I have like something, like maybe a smell, and then I'll think about something that happened and they might have been there. But I don't ever like think about past relationships, like I'm married. Um, I just don't do that. So I'm shocked that I didn't think about this sooner. But I dated a football player at the time. He was a college football player. And now he is a professional football player. I'm scared to shoot at me. This looks weird. Okay, that's marinara sauce. So, hmm, this looks good. All right, good cheese pool. I love mozzarella sticks. Their sauce tastes more like ketchup, though. I wish I had some real marinara. It's not bad, but these are awesome. Not so much that. I mean, it's not bad. Very vinegary. So anyway. Um, oh, I love pretzels so much. They look so good. The one that had this cheese dip right here. Mm. Oh my god. That is so good. That cheese dip is great. So, I met this guy on Tinder, but... We started talking through like Instagram and Facebook. And the only reason that I agreed to like go meet him or hang out or do anything with him is because we had mutual friends. And I knew he was really who he was saying he was just from like his Facebook and his Instagram. Like it was obvious that that's who he was. He wasn't making it up or lying. I don't suggest ever meeting anyone you've met online in person. Unless you know people who know them, or you're going to be in a public place. Don't ever, like, let them come back to your home that day. Just don't do it. Uh, it's not smart. You need to wait it out. <laughs> Feel the person out. Mm. I, didn't bring, I never bring napkins, guys. So, at first, everything's, like, really, really fun. Like, really cool. He's super nice. Very tall. He's a football player. I mean, like... Come on, like I thought it was so cool to be able to date a football player. Mm. Their milkshakes are so good. So like I said, everything in the beginning was fine. We went on a few dates. Everything's fun. And he starts to be like very nice. Like, he was treating me better than I've ever been treated by anyone else. He was really kind. I was telling him things that I wasn't even telling my friends 
about like how I was feeling about certain things, like my weight or I just shaking. Or just everything, like school, parents, health, everything that was going on in my life. I was very open with him about it. I shared a lot with him that I just wouldn't usually ever share with anyone. Um I really thought things were like good. So but first bad sign. Cause look, everything is going great so far, okay? So we're together, fine, going on a few dates, we're doing good. And then this was the first major like red flag. And you I'm gonna tell you guys this and you're gonna be like, this is stupid, but it's not. Listen. So I invited him over to my house. And he got there before my parents got home. They were out at dinner or something, like lunch maybe, I don't know. They weren't home. And we were sitting on the couch, just chilling out, hanging out, not doing anything wrong, watching TV. And my dad gets home and walks through the door and sees this huge man sitting on his couch. So I introduced him. I was going to say his name. Uh, I introduced my dad to, we'll call him Bob. So I introduced my dad to Bob. I'm like, oh, this is Bob. Bob, this is my dad. Whatever. And he didn't stand up off the couch to like shake my dad's hand. And so my dad was kind of like hmm, weird. Obviously I didn't say anything in that moment, but later on he told me, you know, like it's kind of weird that he didn't stand up to shake my hand. Like he's at my house sitting in my seat, which I thought was stupid at the time. Um, well, that part's still stupid, but <laughs> when my parents were saying this to me, I was like, who cares that he didn't stand up? Like, we're young. Like, who cares? But looking back now, it's very disrespectful, and after being like with my husband, he would never do that to anyone. So, I was kind of upset because my parents didn't really care for him too much because of this situation, which I know is so small and silly, but my parents, like, that kind of respect is really important to them. Um... You could be the richest man or the poorest man, smartest or the dumbest, whatever. If you don't have respect, they don't like you. Which I think is fair. <laughs> this tea sauce is good. So I kind of mentioned it to him just a little bit like, hey, you know, my parents are very old fashioned and they, they would have probably really appreciated had you like stood up and like shook my dad's hand and stuff. So maybe next time like you see him, you can try doing something similar or doing that or like, you know, just being a little more extra at first. Um, that really annoyed with me and was like, why do you think I'm so like perfect? Like I mess up too sometimes and da 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 I just kind of went off on like this long rampage of like, you just think I'm too perfect because I'm a football player. <laughs> no, dude. It's because you're a human and you should respect people. But okay. I mean, like, he would just keep up bringing up. Anytime we talked about anything, he would always just bring up playing football, being a football player. Oh, all this stuff seems very, like, whatever. Just wait. Please just wait because it gets better. These are so good. My mom's calling me. So, everything's fine because I get why my parents are upset, but I also get that we're young and it's just not something that is that common anymore. And also, he was a football player. I was excited to date him. So, I, l I let all this stuff go. I shouldn't have. The way he responded to my subtle criticism was insane so we are going out one night to a I guess not really a fraternity party but a college party I guess it's an ABC party oh. which means anything but clothes and um, he's dressed up with this like beer box as his pants and I made a shirt out of like duct tape it was so cute, like a tube top out of duct tape. And then I just wore like this trash bag as a skirt. I was completely, completely covered, completely dressed. 
It would be no different than me wearing a high-waisted skirt with a regular tube top. And he did not want me to go out like that. And it was just really weird. And at the time, I was kind of thought it was cute because I kind of thought he was like... Trying to be protective of me. Like, I don't want other guys to see you like that. Which, I know, some people would be really bothered by that. Like, I can do whatever I want, whatever. But... If my husband said he didn't want me to wear something because it was too much, I just wouldn't wear it. <laughs> anyway, that's besides the point. I really wanted to wear it. I was really upset that he didn't want me to. And come to find out, the real reason he didn't want me to wear it is because I needed to lose a few pounds. Oh, I was pissed. Pissed. I could not believe he said that to me. It was so rude. I freaked out. I told him to leave. I didn't want to hang out with him. I wasn't going to the party, so he went alone. So good. He is calling, apologizing, texting. I, I'm so sorry. I just don't want you to wear that around other people because, you know, you're my girl. That kind of thing. I was like, yeah, whatever, okay. I didn't accept his apology. So now he's pissed. So now he's telling me how he really feels. Um, I had screenshots of the text in my email. I'll try to see if I can find them. But I don't know if I have the password to that email still, but I'll look. Um, he was going crazy. Ooh. Like, text after text after text. You're just a slut. You're ugly. You're chubby. And then everything I told him that was going on in my life, he like brought up and threw it in my face. I was just really mean. And so, I started getting mean back. I was at my friend's house too when this was happening. And so she's like comforting me because I'm obviously upset. I mean, I was pissed. I, just, I didn't understand like, why everything that I had confided in him was being thrown back in my face because he was rude to me. <laughs> and then it got kind of worse. So he went from texting and calling me and being an asshole nonstop, even when I've asked him to leave me alone, to sending me Facebook messages and Instagram messages. Um, I don't know if you know what Ask FM is, but it was a website where people can either anonymously or openly ask people questions. They'll answer their question and I'll post onto their page and it can be anonymous. I got like 20 anonymous questions that were actually just rude statements um, saying like bad things about me over and over and over again. Obviously it was him. Weird. So I'm kind of freaked out. He's literally trying to contact me in every manner he can. This is really scaring me. I'm very uncomfortable. I tell him this. Well, listen. You're making me really uncomfortable. If you don't leave me alone, I'm going to have to get some sort of restraining order or something. I can't do this. I need you to leave me alone. And he's like, get a restraining order because I said a few rude things. You piss me off. Something like that. Oh, well, like, dude, no. Leave me alone. So I proceeded to continue blocking him every time he tried to contact me. He would use a friend's phone. He used his mom's phone one time. I'm blocking all these numbers, trying to get the hell away from him. And he just, he won't leave me alone. These are so good. And this is when things start getting very creepy. I worked at a bar at the time. And I would leave, so usually at that age, because this was when I was a little younger. So I would leave around like midnight to one o'clock in the morning. I came out from my job, opened my car, and there were flowers and a letter inside my car. And you might be thinking this is sweet and cute, but it's not. When you literally beg someone to leave you alone and they're still like pressuring you. Well, let's just say it is cute. I unblock his number, I send him a text, I'm like, listen, 
I, this is just not working out. I'm sorry. You're really starting to scare me. I need you to go away. I need you to leave me alone. I cannot do this. And then he gets mad. He gets pissed. He is livid that I want nothing to do with him. So what does he do? He shows up the next day at my job after I get off work outside of my car standing there like a freaking stalker. And I'm like, what are you doing here? And he's just mad. He's yelling at me. He wants me to talk to him. And I was like, this is not how you get someone to talk to you. This is how you get someone to like call the police on you. Like, what are you doing? And he got really mad at me and he leaves. I walk outside of my house, apartment. I lived with my parents. And there was a note. I had an address. I was like, please give me one last chance. Just meet me here. I did not go. I can only imagine what would have happened to me had I gone. Like, was he going to kill me or something? Maybe not. But, why didn't he get it? I mean, he scared the shit out of me, guys. I was terrified. And it might not, now that I'm like saying the whole story, it might not sound that bad to like you at home. But imagine being in a situation where someone that you thought was like super cool and like awesome, like, oh my God, he's a football player, like this is awesome, turns out to be a creep who stalked you. Who knows like if he saw, it, like if he was watching me or anything like that. I'm sure he freaking was. It's scary, it's so scary. And just to have no respect for someone when they tell you to leave you alone. There's a point where, me and my husband, if we fight, <laughs> go away, I don't want to talk to you. I don't really mean that. I'm the type of person who says that, but really means like, no, please, like, hug me and I'll forgive you. Uh, well, depending on the situation, but. Um, it's just, ugh. <laughs> That's cute. It's cute when you both love each other or like each other. You got into a little fight and one of you says like, come on, just leave me alone, I need some space. And the other one's like, look, I really, I really love you and I'm really sorry and I really want to hang out and be with you. And the other person's like, okay, I forgive you. That's cute. That's cute. But if you do that and you're like, the thing like, oh, I, I really love you, please forgive me, blah, blah, blah. And they say no, like a second time. So they say, leave me alone. And you're like, please no. And they're like, no, go away. You need to go away. A third time is not cute. It's just not. It's not a good look. But let's say you make it there. You do it several times. Do not keep doing it. Let it go. Move on. Move on. Like, what, what is the problem here? It's scary. Especially when he's like over six foot and I'm five foot one. Showing up outside in the dark. Creepo. Mm. All right, so I guess that's it, guys. That was the story. That was weird. Anyway, I'm gonna probably drink this milkshake while I edit this, and I hope you enjoyed it. I know I didn't eat like a crazy amount. For some reason, I got full pretty fast. Um, I guess this hot dog was very heavy. Um, if you go there and only get this, you'll probably get really full. It was really good though. I'm very impressed. Sonic is great. Only thing I wish they had is cheese curds because that's actually like the one thing that I really wanted today besides a milkshake. But then I saw their milkshake menu and I was like, hmm, those milkshakes look really good. I kind of would rather just have a milkshake. That's how we ended up here. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please like, please subscribe. Please stay tuned for more videos. I make all sorts of videos and I hope to see you at the next one. Bye! I don't know why I just did that. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>